Ezekiel chapter 15. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, and that's the title given to Ezekiel, Jesus Christ, and a couple places, Daniel. What is the vine tree? Okay, we're not looking at a vine, a grapevine, as we would see in the Bible. A vine tree. More than any tree. Or than a branch which is among the trees of the forest. Now, if you ever watch Tarzan, you've seen what a vine tree is. In my native home, New London, Connecticut, when you go out in the woods, you would find these vine trees, and they're either one stock, or they're made of, of, of several different vines, and they're wrapped together. Shall wood be taken thereof to do any work? Talking about the vine tree. And there's nothing you can do with a vine tree. You're not going to cut a vine tree and make a, well, you you could make a photo frame, but will men take a pin of it to hang any vessel thereon? I mean, are you going to take a wooden peg from the vine tree and nail it to the wall and hang your jacket? No. It has no carpentry, no building purpose. Behold, it is cast into the fire for fuel. The fire devours both ends of it, and the mist of it is burned. Is it meat for any work? There's nothing you can do with the vine tree but burn it. You're made, it's made to cut and burn. And we'll get that in a moment. Behold, when it was whole, you didn't burn it. It was meat for no work. You, you can't do anything with it. How much less shall it be meat for any work? When the fire devours it and it's burned. And once it's burned, it's ashes. No more work either. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, a vine tree among the trees of the forest, which I have given to the fuel for fire. Now look at that. You look at this vine and you say, there's no purpose. Why did God make the vine tree? He made you to burn it. He made it for firewood. There is nothing that God has ever made that does not serve a purpose. So how's that? So will I give unto the inhabitants of Jerusalem. We got an illustration here. See the word as the vine tree among the trees of the forest. As means, all right, I'm going to show you something. Pay attention. As this vine tree is cut and put into the flames of fire. And the illustration is given in happiness of Jerusalem. I will set my face against them, the heavens of Jerusalem. They shall go out from one fire to another fire shall devour them. And we learn by more of Nehemiah when he's walking and riding his ass around the wall that has been destroyed. And as they're cleaning up the wall and the, 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 the destruction thereof, we learn that the fire destroyed Jerusalem. The, the Chaldeans, the Babylonians destroyed the temple and the walls and the city of Jerusalem. They burned it with fire. And history records that. And God says, as that vine tree, you're supposed to throw it in the fire. I'll take the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And notice how he says, they go out from one fire to another fire shall devour them. 
Well, I don't know if I can stretch it, but I'm going to say it. And I could be wrong, but Shadrach, Meshach, and Indigo was put into a fire, a furnace of fire. But it didn't devour them. Let me add that. You shall know, you shall know, number 18. So the inhabitants of Jerusalem, they're going to get the city burned, the temple's going to be burned, the city's going to be burned, there's going to be two sets of fire. And there'll be, there'll be Jews that will end up in hell. God's God. There will be Jews that will look back and see Jerusalem destroyed. Well, God said through Jeremiah, God said through Ezekiel, it was going to happen. His word has come to pass. And there shall be people who know, well, I am the Lord. The, the, the trump of God has blown and the Christians have gone and you're left behind. Oh man. My relative that was a Christian that, that witnessed to me, I didn't want to hear it. him and his God and his Bible is correct. Too late. Too late. Sometimes when you shall know that I am the Lord, it's too late. When you're standing before God, the great white throne judgment, Jesus is Lord on to the lake of fire. It's too late. When I set my face against them. That's an angry God. Now, if God did that to Jerusalem, God's heavenly on earth capital, and his people. What do you think he's going to do to places where Christians have been? What do you think he's going to do to the Gentiles? In his fury, in his anger against sin. Because if God doesn't judge the Gentiles and the Christians, he's going to have to apologize to those here. And he's not going to apologize. I will make the land desolate, and Jeremiah tells us that is so at the closing of Jeremiah and the book of Lamentations. Because they committed a trespass. There is nothing that God uh, how is it? there is nothing that God does without a purpose like that vine tree. Well, there's a vine tree out and well, what purpose is it to burn? Why is Jerusalem destroyed? Why is Jerusalem put to flames? Why have the people of God been carried over to Babylon or death? Because they sinned against a holy and righteous God. Why are there hospitals today? Why are there police departments? Why are there jails? Why are there doctors? Why is there diseases? Because of sin. Why are there cemeteries or graveyards? Because the wages of sin is death. Save the Lord God. When God says it, you better pay attention. Because it will come to pass. It may not come to pass right now, but God said it. It will come to pass later. Record it and mark it down. 